how did the ordnance factories enter this fight against uh, the COVID-19 virus? Was it a request from the government or the defense ministry that uh, got you involved in producing hand sanitizers and protective clothing? See, it is like this. Uh, we all were watching what was happen, happening internationally. And we, we were, uh, we were uh, very much apprehensive that this problem is likely to come to our country. So thinking uh, that uh, kind of a situation, it will happen in our country. We started thinking that what all we will do. And we, we did uh, take very limited actions. And but there was a meeting taken by the cabinet secretary and there was a call uh, from Ministry of Defense whether ordnance factories can do anything. I said none of the products are in our product range, but we are willing to work on these products. We will start mobilizing our resources and whatever is possible to be realized within few days, we would be definitely interested in doing it. Seeing this, the cabinet secretary, the Raksha Mantri, then the defense secretary, secretary defense production, they have encouraged us that we should also come forward and whichever way we can support. And that is how we came in. Right. And what about uh, protective clothing? Uh, that's one big area that, of shortages that we have. Uh, and that's something that the ordnance factories manufacture. So uh, could you tell me a little bit uh, more about how you're con contributing to protective clothing? See, we have been manufacturing uniforms for Army, Navy, Air Force. We were also manufacturing the uh, clothing for the extreme climate conditions. In the Siachen conditions, whatever clothings are required by our Army soldiers, those clothings we were making. But whatever is required by a surgeon during the operation theater, we have not been making. Whatever is required by the health workers, we have not been making. But our engineers, our clothing technicians, they have quickly studied all the standards. They have studied the standards like 16603 ISO standard, which gives class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5, class 6 level of PP. All these details have been studied by our team. And they have studied that non-woven cloth is required. For these PPEs, the cloth is a non-woven cloth. They have studied through internet, available standards, interacted with many people, interacted with the manufacturer of PPEs, and they have quickly understood what is required. And then we have located the sources for the material because the materials are also to be taken from new sources. And this is all work our teams have done in last five, six days. And they have been working almost in 24 by 7 mode. All the factories, wherever any work is assigned, everybody is totally on work till the work is finished. And in that mode, we are working and already we have prepared the samples of PPEs. We have prepared at Ordnance Factory Shahjapur. We have prepared at Ordnance Equipment Factory Kanpur. We have prepared at Ordnance Clothing Factory Avdi. We have prepared the samples. And these samples are okay as per class three. Class three, I suppose, would be required by all the health workers. Class three is not meant for the operation theater, but entire medical staff, all the health worker, they will be okay with class three. The class three success we have already achieved and class three bulk production, we will be starting in few days, maybe in two, three days. We have organized, there are special heat sealing machines required for that purpose, which was not there with us. We have in the last six, seven days, we have acquired these machines. Some machines we could locate in Kanpur, some machines we could locate in Pune, some machines we could locate from Chennai. And by using our emergent powers, we have acquired these machines. Just to share with you, our emergent powers to our, to our general managers were very limited. They were I have our ordnance factory board had called for a special board meeting and we have taken a decision to increase the emergency procurement powers of our general managers by 10 times. And this order we have already issued that enables my general managers to freely purchase the raw material required, purchase the, any, uh, uh, any equipment they require, any testing facility they require, any machinery they require. 
and just to share with you how the country cooperates one of the apparel manufacturer in chennai wholeheartedly he has allowed six heat sealing machines to be shifted from his unit to our unit free of cost i said i am ready to buy the machines i said i am ready to pay the rent he said neither i want rent nor i want money please take these machines use them and once the corona is over please return my machines okay. and this is how, this is how we have yeah. organized ourselves and i am sure in next 2 3 days we will start commencing the bulk supply of class 3 ppes which are required by the health worker and they are required in large numbers see right. corona patient will not go to operation theaters corona yes. corona patient will go to hospitals and right. they have right. taken care by the nursing staff and by the medical staff for them our ppe will work what is the what is the number of uh, such ppes that you have identified uh, you know for uh, production and distribution is there a number that you can give us first of all we have an advantage i have a unit located in south india i have a unit located in north india that is shahjapur and another unit which is near lucknow kanpur so we have we have a pan india presence i have a unit located in tunla also there the work has not yet started but we have a plan to start so we have a pan india locations and we have our own transport arrangement means our own government vehicles within 200 300 kilometers as per the requirement of the government of india as per the requirement of the hospitals we will be started moving them see the non medical mask we have already issued to tamil nadu police right. my factory is located in pune my factory is located in jabalpur they have started they did manufacturing of sanitizer in small quantities and they have given to all nearby government departments the sanitizers in smaller quantities say 50 liters 100 liters free of cost that service we have already started but the quantities in thousands of liters we are manufacturing at itarsi bandara and uti right so how has uh, covid affected ordnance factories day to day operations of your core responsibilities which is producing arms and ammunition for the armed forces has there we, been an effect on that at all we have not yet been luckily we have not yet been affected by the corona but as per the government orders as per the preparedness of the country to lock down the entire country as per the government orders all of our factories for regular production of weapons and ammunition and defense platforms all those operations have been deliberately stopped as per the government orders only skeleton staff okay. essential duty staff water supply electric supply security all these people are on duty or all those people who are associated with cover covid related items like your mask ppe sanitizers all those people as per our requirement they are all willing to come and they are coming inside the factories and they are willing to work 24 hours our hands will not stop our workers will not stop our machines will not stop till raw material is there and demand is there when the material is not there our machines will have to stop but our people are so determined and they are totally backing the government initiative and totally with us that sir you tell us whatever is to be done we are willing to do right thank you very much mr mohan it was nice speaking with you thank you thank you thank you very much